Hi lovelies, thank you for stopping by and welcome to Recipes by Jenny. Today I will be sharing with you the best crunchy and milky Nigerian chin chin. Let's get started. The list of ingredients including measurements is in the description box below. A big thank you to all my subscribers and if you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe as we share lots of yummy recipes made with love. To a bowl add sugar and eggs, give it a quick mix. Then add evaporated milk. Quick tip, do not add all the liquid. You would understand as the video progresses. I started by adding just one cup of evaporated milk. Mix together and set aside. Now for the rest of the ingredients, to a bowl add all-purpose flour, freshly ground nutmeg, baking powder and salt mixed together. Then add unsalted butter. Because I want the chin chin to be crunchy, I'm using very little butter. Using my fingertips, mix together until you have a breadcrumb consistency like so. Now let the fun begin. Add the wet ingredients and mix together. So I will be adding the evaporated milk which is my liquid of choice bit by bit. Mixing to see if more is required and then add it again bit by bit. Another tip, it is important to know that the type of flour will determine how much liquid you add. As with all beautiful things in life, be patient while mixing. The amount of liquid added to chin chin can make or break it. And at the end, you should have a dough like this. It shouldn't be sticky. This is perfect. This is the exact consistency I need. Set aside and allow to rest for at least an hour. Transfer the dough onto a floured surface and roll it out. It is important that the dough is rolled out as thin as possible, as this adds to the overall crunchiness of the chin chin. Now it's time to cut the dough into the desired size and shape. A big thank you to all my subscribers and if you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe as we share lots of yummy recipes made with love. After cutting the chin chin into the desired shape and size, it's time for the next step, which is frying. To a saucepan with vegetable oil, add the chin chin. We are going to be deep frying it, so don't be shy of using a lot of oil. 
Fry on medium-high heat, continuously stirring until you have a golden brown color like so. Remove from the heat and repeat the process. Set aside and allow to cool. And voila, our crunchy, milky chin chin is ready to be enjoyed. This is a family favorite. Would you be trying out this recipe during this festive period? Please let me know in the comment section if you do. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for all the love and support. Please, if you've not subscribed, please kindly do so. Again, thank you and until next time, remain blessed.